Welcome to the world of psychosis. In these documented conversations, Trevor S. Mickelson and other self-trust based campers dive into topics such as ancestral trauma, conditioning, the mirrorverse, natural law, and law come to eye. The world of witchcraft, how to become a living man or woman, the loss of your dreams to maritime law, and many, many more curious topics that may trigger your ears to ring. And those are not angels singing. It's the theta or delta frequencies that are meant to make you heal, similar to Pavlov's dog. These conversations may require one to summon forth another courage to face all fears and terrors, to blossom in order to regulate one's autonomic nervous system, requiring courage to be curious about what you may think you know to be reality, which may in fact be the causes of the twisted nightmares of your life's experiences. In this podcast, we delve into the minds with those who have been told they have psychosis and chat about what's really going on from their perspective with unconditional love and complete grace. Psychosis is a label from a medical society that was started by Rockefeller and other dark figures in this enough attachment affects millions around the world. We're here now to provide another perspective on what's true so that you or the loved ones in your life are able to see that they are not crazy. They're simply fractured and tuning into frequencies that others are not able to. Join us as we explore the depths of the human mind and uncover the truths behind this misunderstood phenomenon. Welcome to the world of psychosis. It's time to summon forth enough courage to feel ineffable. Are you ready? Into the world of psychosis we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Wow. All right. So last night when we went to that event, think, all right, so I'm, I'm going to see what you think. So, so say you're watching a movie okay. and it's got kings and queens and knights and wizards and witches and warlocks and it's in this quote unquote fairy tale land, right? Mm-hmm. So after the MC comes up, who would you feel would speak first? I would imagine the king. Who went first last night? Ryan. I'm sitting at the table. I find, okay, so we we get in this place last night, uh, Homestead Lodge, Homestead. And we're last minute, we get there, quote unquote, right on time. Oh, I mean, always divine timing. It it was to me, it was as if we walked into the room and it started. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's how it felt to me was it has begun. Yeah. They're here now. They're here now. It's time. Well, that's the feeling I had. Yeah. And so looking around, looking around, no seats, no, but there's this available seat. And I look at the seat and I go, the seat is my seat. Oh, just a a lonely chair, just by itself, separate, not at a table. Nothing. Okay. It was completely adjacent to, on the other side of the, of the stage. Hmm. So facing the stage, it was all the way to the back. Anyway, so I grabbed this, I grabbed this seat and I see the table that I saw and I just was like, oh, there, there, there's a. You know, is this, are these seats taken? What's interesting is they both said, no, both are available. And for some reason, I didn't sit at that other seat that was quote unquote available. Yeah. Cause they were across each other. The two end ones were available. Yeah. 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 And so I got this king, I got the seat and I placed it right at the end, which would have been the King's position. And now here energetically, Ryan is representing going first in the king, and now he's seated at the right hand of the king. At the same table. At the same table that he's done at. presenting. And he wasn't there at the time. I didn't know he was sitting there. I didn't know. I didn't know. He could have been sitting on to the right of Katie, not to the left, but instead he chose to sit at the left. Yeah. So it was just a really interesting feeling Mm-hmm. Well, and if he felt that, that would totally make sense why he didn't look at you pretty much all night. The The fact that he didn't engage with you pretty much all night until you said something about being a carnivore, which goes against his... Everything. Yeah, what he believes in. Uh-huh. And really interesting how he sparked up then. Right. So. Yeah, that was curious. That was a curious moment. Because mm-hmm. dude was engaged, right as I said that. 
He mm -hmm. just went, he perked up and was. Oh, you eat his meat? Well, I mean, there's cookies this morning, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to have that energy. I, I also was recognizing as we were looking for places to sit when they said that, that you just, you didn't sit there. You just, I thought that was curious as well. What do you mean? Um, that you, you utilized the chair that you grabbed instead of putting the chair back, you used it. Mm -hmm. And instead of going around and sitting next to Katie on her left, mm -hmm. across from me. Yeah, I brought my own chair. Mm -hmm. I felt that king energy, which was really interesting. I've been feeling it quite a lot and to have it. So yesterday when we were driving up, I was talking, or sharing about that the vampire energy and also witch, and I wasn't sure what it really was. And it doesn't really matter because quote unquote, it's not real. <laughs> But to feel into those energies and then to to have him say oh, all right we're gonna be how many breathwork things have you done standing and walking around this was the first one usually you're laying down you're laying down or sitting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this was the first one where we actually walked roamed as he said yeah, we Roam, roamed. roamed around we roamed around and this is the first one i've ever done back to back with someone so that was interesting mm -hmm. that he had us roam around and connect back to back with someone uh, yeah yeah interesting and so what was tuning in for me there was learning about all of this roman catholic you the word universe that's going to be a fucking one that's going to fuck with the spiritual community and that one's well, can well, you go into that because you've mentioned it a few times and yeah. i haven't um looked into it so the explain word, what universe is so the word catholic with a k so that's its roots roman oh, catholic okay. Okay. yeah that's that's really where you look at it. if you search if you just go in uh on the internet and i'll search it now you just what I did is when I found it, I just searched Catholic Universal. Catholic with a C and then Universal. And the word here comes up. It's the first thing that the Wikipedia, the word Catholic comes from the Greek phrase. And then it's in Greek, but it's it kind of looks like Catholic. Whatever. On the whole, uh, on the whole, um, according to the whole in general, the first known use of Catholic was by, okay, so let me see. Um, so Catholic means whole. Okay, so here it is. Catholic, the word comes from the Greek meaning through the whole. Through the whole. Through the whole. Okay. That is universal, worldwide, all inclusive. Through the whole. That is universal. So what comes it's through a hole? Inclusive. Yeah, if you come through a hole, did you come through a hole? Well, if you think about the, the yoni as the portal that <laughs> you're coming into, into this world. Vaginal canal. Coming, coming from the hole, because your mm -hmm. divine godliness is whole. Yeah, so we came from a hole. We were whole. Mm -hmm. But then now that is universal. So anyway, Catholic means universal. So anything universe speak didn't quote unquote exist before Catholics. So that's their story is this universe. We have one universe. Okay. So that's one. So they don't talk about necessarily like your godliness, your God. They talk more of like universal, like the, the all is universal. Well, they don't say the all, they say universe. They say God and universe. Mm. So any term, so think about monopoly, right? Mm -hmm. So if you, if there's a word that is, in this case, ubiquitous, it's everywhere, it's omnipresent. And you've got 
all religions adopting the word. Mm -hmm. You've got spiritual people adopting the world. You even have atheists adopting the word. Mm -hmm. What a way to take over and control. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. The word in, in itself, universe. So universal and universe, those are stamped in time moments of control of the mind. Mm -hmm. So we don't realize that to be civilized is to be Roman, to go through a civil war and now to be a 14th amendment citizen is to be Roman. Mm -hmm. So here we were last night, oh, back Roman. to it. We, <laughs> the sign for, to end the court of the day and go into the lunar court, the court of the night, which is what all judges and lawyers are practicing right now law yeah. to sit down two seconds later. However, after the MC, the jester, I mean, that guy was a joke last night, right? He was, he was, a, he played he, the, he played the part really well. Oh yeah. Well, that's what I mean. It was really great. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, 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 it was like, Oh, I'm just going to mess up. But it was, it was really, that's what jesters do. Right. Mm -hmm. He so, was really great at it. He, he played yeah. the part well. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. He played the part well, mm -hmm. which I found was really interesting because I know the guy has it together. I know the guy's very wise and okay. that's the jester. So the jester in anything, I don't know. Do you know well, who and can... And he's courting the queen. Oh, isn't that... That's uh -huh. interesting. Isn't that interesting? Now that's the question. Is that the queen? Is it? That's the question. So... At least he calls her his queen. Right. So. Okay. Well, energetically, this is this is the quite this is yeah. the setup, right? Right. Because when does the queen speak? Not sure. I'm not sure about that one. I'm not I'm not sure in movies and stuff. I feel the queen speaks when the king is not present. Mm. She speaks on behalf of the kingdom. You. Typically, right? I, you know, in movies, I'm not sure. Checking back into it and whatever. What I do know is the jester can say anything you want to the king or queen, and he's the only one that doesn't get beheaded. Because mm -hmm. it's fun. Mm -hmm. And it's all in jest. And he's so wise and mm -hmm. witty and cunning. Counsel. Uh huh. Yeah, the jester is not to be fooled with. Mm -hmm. And so he was the quote unquote jester because he opened it up. He was the master of ceremonies. Oh, so funny. A 30 minute review session with him. I know, right? Oh, I, I love <laughs> so that you're gonna go, go get to know him. Yeah, that's good. That's mm -hmm. interesting. Huh. Yeah, so here, here the jester is, and I'm, I'm still feeling all of this vampire energy sucking witch energy. Not sure, is it witch? Is it vampire? Just feeling this, oh wow, from all of the past mm. Christ mass. Would you times. say that's the psychosis? Total psychosis. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, as we were as we were driving up there, I'm glad that I didn't. I, I chose not to drive, and I was doing TRE with my legs because I've been walking on the pads of my feet for days on end and dancing and stuff. When I dance, I'm I'm light on my feet these days. It's yeah. an interesting feeling. So I was feeling into the these energies and watching the imagination channel of as we were talking like holy shit what if i what if this is actually going to be one of those matrix moments and instead of agent smith they all turn into vampires and i'm the one that they're eating mm -hmm. and what was interesting so tying this all up together this energy of feeling into this roman energy this roman catholic this vampirish energy and the witch energy all coming together this dude Ryan takes a king position in the ceremony, so to speak, and he leads us through this breath work. And he was talking about, you know, sharing spirit and um, uh, uh, the words were so interesting of, and I didn't record it or I was really focusing on me at the time, but the sentiment that I, perspective that I received was basically, Share your spirit with the all of the group. We are here to share your, whatever your spirit is, share it with the group. Yeah, that's how he ended it. Uh-huh. Share mm -hmm. your spirit with the group. Your, your spirit is needed in the group. 
why does my spirit, why is my spirit needed in the group? They have every, if everyone is whole, they don't need my spirit, so to, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So he starts off this breath work and he says, all rise. And then boom, I'm in fucking night court <laughs> of the, cause who's in night court, which is vampires, monsters, Frankenstein, you know, all these energies or whatnot. And I've got my back close or I got my um, eyes lid closed my back I'm still seated at this seat and then he's after he says all rise now start to roam around just keep roaming and I, he repeated the word roam five ten times or more just keep roaming and roaming and roaming and I'm sitting there as a king sitting down no I will not roam energetically holding that bubble, the space for humanity, claiming for the world in that moment, sitting and knowing that in this place energetically, I know from fertilization to last breath, anything is a trespass. And for me to do any of that, no. So I was sitting and quote unquote confronting those channels of the mind and the sensations you want to talk about pressure it felt as though somebody was grabbing me it was really interesting at times i felt somebody almost grab my arm or pull me or grab my hair or touch my head and nobody was touching me and to feel those somatic channels of the sensations and the the thoughts and the feelings and the emotions and the imaginations all happen and i'm sitting there watching it, it, one vision of all witches dancing around me. All ne next vision, all vampires dancing around me. Next one, uh, Romans. All all of this, all going through these quote unquote past times, all together in this multiverse, this multi Catholic perspective. That's an infinite mirror loop. Where in the past, or when there was a past, <laughs> that the psyche was fractured and lost in the mirror, as well as the mind. The mind adopted all fractures and the psyche was lost in all of them. Mm -hmm. And to be able to sit in that moment and to be able to have no intention that I was willing to die and get a, a sword stabbed in my back to sit as a king and wherever that was in the enemy's estate, so to speak. And when they say all rise, I would die to sit and rest as I know that is my godly estate and my godly nature. I'm not required to stand for no man or no woman. What I love about you and your, the conviction you have with this is, you know, you know who exactly who you are. And I, I feel that people don't, um, they don't, understand what true so sovereignty is and what true wholeness is I mean we each have our own perception of that and this is your perception and what you feel is accurate and true to who you are and I love that you're willing to die for that and you're willing to you you can feel that you feel it throughout your whole beingness and I'm really curious to see who also gets to that point of this is who I am because this is the world that we're going to. So decolonizing, decolonizing our mind, decolonizing our, our hearts and really standing true to who we are. Mm -hmm. And I love that the way that you're leading it um, by being true to yourself and Wow, to have those kind of thoughts and to, I've never met anyone that can go into those places and really see where that psyche has been fractured and where the mind has been taken over. And so to hear you talk about that, it, it truly inspires me to look at myself more and see where that is coming up for me. Because where were we last night? We went to a very, quote unquote, spiritual, loving, yeah. let's experience the new 
Earth. The new world. The new world. All mm -hmm. these innovators, early adopters mm -hmm. coming in, servant hearts, people leading the community like yeah. Ryan. Yeah. And to feel those feelings coming in of I'm going to die tonight. <laughs> in, I'm, my blood's going to be sucked. I'm going to be put into a cauldron. I'm going to be beheaded mm. or or pulled by a horse until death. Yeah, and to feel those feelings going into a community that's spiritual, <laughs> loving, and all about community and Talk about the pendulum and... swing. I mean, that's the pendulum swing. Going into the place that we did, all the people are so beautiful. All of them were so... And to feel mm -hmm. that and know that that, wow. And that's where, where I realized I felt so safe that all of those fractured places were able to come up mm -hmm. and to be able to have the tools and to be able to breathe and laugh, smile. I mean, I didn't even require to blossom all night because mm -hmm. I felt into the energy prior to it being there. I knew what was going to happen. There was nothing shocked. There was no awe. I was not in a state of numbness or disassociation or scattered thoughts, or I was not in the first stage of grief. I was not shock. I was... I felt the energy coming in before, which I've been feeling not days out now. It's moments. It's minutes. It's here. You've got 30 minutes. Here's this blast of work. Because if we blast you with these theta or these delta waves, mm -hmm. then um, beforehand, you're going to know what's coming. You're going to, because this is what the Matrix, so to speak, has learned or MK Ultra, CIA, whoever... Um, not, not, it's not my business. I don't give a fuck who's putting out these frequencies. All they know is that they're not working anymore. Mm -hmm. And I realize when I am speaking this way or feeling this way or, uh, connecting this way that when those, or when those frequencies come, there's the opportunity to really sit and just, and just experience, experience the movie. Sometimes I want to get popcorn and I would watch the movie in my mind. Yeah. I would watch that. It's so fucking wild. And to sit there and go, oh my God. What a beautiful take on quote unquote shadow work. <laughs> That's to be able to feel the energy in the energy field and not get consumed by them, not allow that the emotions to overtake you and the feelings to overtake you, but sit back and watch it like a movie. That That is true alchemy right there. Mm -hmm. That's alchemy at its finest. And that's what it's about is recognizing those uh, feelings and emotions that aren't you. And this is where there's been a fracture. Mm -hmm. Let's Let's sit back, let them play out, let them express themselves. Mm -hmm. And yeah, watch them like a movie. It's... Well, yeah, who wants to watch a shadow movie? Nobody. But when they all engage, and because of what I found about shadow work is I'm chasing a feeling, I'm chasing a thought, I'm chasing a memory, mm -hmm. I'm chasing one element, and I get lost in it. And where I do put things together, it feels like it feels as though they're mi they're missing something there. Mm -hmm. But when I really I sit with it and I'm not even sure if that word sit with it is even accurate. Now yeah. I act with it. Yeah. I am in the movie because the, now what's required of the King is not, is to sit there and the requirement last night in the event that I was that role, I was last night. My role was sovereign King pacifist. Hmm new frequency of the world mm -hmm. i don't care it, it, and there was this knowingness of i don't care if there is vampires or monsters or romans or witches i'm going to keep sitting here and there's nothing anyone is able to do mm. so why have the feeling of fear and it was in really summoning that courage within me when Ryan said, I'll rise to just immediately have <gasps> this done, this knowingness. And, and that's what was interesting as I, well, that was an interesting burp, so to speak. Yeah. Because I was breathing in 
as I was burping and it was this <gasps> feeling. <laughs> and that's, that's what, it, there was this feeling of, <gasps> and I knew at that moment, that was the feeling of if I had stood up, what was, <gasps> what the was? world would have, the, what, the, the, the world would have, um, and all, um, what was it? it? There's this feeling of, now the world is lost if I stood up. But also that feeling of everyone else. <gasps> he's not standing up. Oh my God, he's got control of his own body. All these frequencies that we're sending out. Ah! Mm -hmm. They're not working. Ah, what a world, what a world, what a yeah. world, what a world. Mm -hmm. And I felt that as well. Well, it's so interesting because as you did not stand, I sat, I wasn't going, I went through my whole thing with that because it was, I felt into you and I, the thoughts that came to me is like, no, you should sit with him. Mm -hmm. Just sit with him, support, support him. And then it was, why? He's got him. He doesn't need me to support him right now. He's doing his own thing. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. And I went through this whole thing of sit with him. No. Go and do, go, go do what everyone else is doing. And that feeling of, you know, and then I had people coming up to me asking, what's he doing? And the, uh, Trevor's doing Trevor. Trevor uh -huh. Trevor's being Trevor. And I'm just going to let him do his thing. And it almost felt like I was just making sure everyone, as I was, following command i was i was completely in myself completely mm -hmm. whole although i was listening and following what he was saying it was an interesting place to feel into okay i'm gonna act like these people i'm gonna just connect into this energy but know that i'm whole and i don't need to do this but i'm gonna be here and I'm going to spread my, mm -hmm. my wholeness and let them feel what that feels like to be connected with someone who's alive <laughs> right, and whole. Uh -huh. And I, I wonder how that will feel. And it was really interesting feeling to be back to back because I could feel especially the last girl that I was with that girl I felt this fireball right the first woman who put her back against me she must have been 10 to 15 degrees hotter than I my back it mm -hmm. was a wild 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 feeling mm -hmm. why all of a sudden are all these people Cause I felt them as they were walking by my eyes were closed. I could feel mm -hmm. cause there was, I could hear them wa walking by, mm -hmm. but then to feel their heat, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm heat rise. It was radiating, yeah, radiating. And it was a wild feeling mm -hmm. to feel the people in the room. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you could feel what I was envisioning last night was, yeah, I could feel their energies, but then I could actually see their energy pods around them, their mm -hmm. auras around them. Mm -hmm. And you, you were mentioning something last night about, um, how you, uh, what, what did you say exactly? How you felt the energy of everyone in the room, but it wasn't a, a oneness energy. It was individual energies that you were feeling. I think that's how you said it. And that's when I said, oh, yeah, yeah, there was pods, bubbles mm -hmm. around each of them. And mm -hmm. that was their energy. Like I could feel it. And it was interesting to see that inner vision of their auras and their, their, yeah, their heat mm -hmm. radiating. Yeah. Sitting sitting that word sitting it's saturday so that's why we're, we're sitting on a saturday sitting having coffee so coffee cookie. <laughs> connecting 
connecting with my own individuality, not in common, not in general, and to know myself as an individual space man. Not even sure what <laughs> space traveler. traveler. I'm a space traveler. I'm an independently protected person, foreigner, sovereign, immune. Mm. Yeah. And so to be this king in this land, to represent, not represent, I'm not dead anymore, to present myself as the king at that table and to feel this energy all the time now to be, have I been in a public place similar to that? Have we done public things in public? Have we been in, in private though? been in the private and then gone out in public similar to i, I feel mm. this is my first event since when since knowing about since knowing curtis this. r kallenbach and new word order and zygote fertilization um, conception is a <laughs> deception no well we went up north oh that's true yes okay but you didn't have the perception you do now. <clears throat> no. It was completely different then. I was in you definitely, shifted. that was within a few days of learning mm -hmm. it. So, yeah, I would say this is my first experiment with going out in being of the private and going into public and to feel that pendulum try to swing, try to unbalance me. Imbalance is not even the word to disrupt. No, that's not it either. Anywho, to really disturb. And I'm not even sure if that word makes sense either. All these words, I haven't looked up disturb. I haven't looked up any of those, but to, the, to pop the bubble. Mm -hmm. And to feel that pendulum swing. And I felt it as this guillotine all night close. Mm -hmm. And not a gu is guillotine the one that swings? No, guillotine is the, the one that comes down. Jumps. So there's a, imagine a swinging pendulum that was similar to Princess Bride. Was that the, Princess Bride? The knife? Yeah, the yeah. back and forth. Yeah. 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 yeah, cut you in half, right? Yeah. Right at your stomach, right at your umbilical cord. Very interesting, oh, right? Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hypnotic rhythm of the placenta. Mm. So to be in that place of this is the first time this energy is in. I was in the now last night. It's straight up in that. Mm. And to feel those feelings to then mm, as within, so without you, it, it, if you attune or resonate with something. So resonating with my bubble, mm -hmm. I was able to connect with and feel other people's bubbles way easier mm -hmm. and to feel their individual livingness within each of them. <laughs> and that was a wild feeling. When I, in, in the past, when I felt into energy, for me, as you were saying, it was collective. Yeah. It was general. And what was in common was dead energy uh -huh. the energy of dead we're all in this cesspool together yeah and now that i feel this individuality of the life of those who are a living all present and accounted for mm -hmm. well what's neat is when i've gone to things like this in the past i've felt their individual energy but then there was this this container that the individuality of each person created so there was each person there but then there was an overall energy that's created and I don't know if that is like <laughs> what is that what is that overall because you know when when they say when two people get together they each have their own individual energies, but then they create a third entity together, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is that third entity? Well, it's, that's the quote-unquote mastermind. 
So the mastermind in Napoleon Hill, if you look back to his work, and if it's true or not, I'm not sure. Dude got a letter from Carnegie to go out and interview 500 of the wealthiest people on the planet. He ended up interviewing 25,000 not successful people and got actually more information. But it was interesting, he's, he's he got the secret of success even before he started interviewing. And what in his book, Think and Grow Rich, he was, I'm not sure if he was the first one or the most popular one to talk about the mastermind. When the sum of two minds is the greater than. Mm. And even feeling into those words, I would love to actually connect with the entomology of those words and the meaning of the sum of two minds is greater than the original two. So that mastermind, I mean, think about that word master. master. So if there's an energy that's there, mm. there's, going to, there's going to be a larger master that will watch and observe over. Yeah. And if there's a, the quote unquote, the larger the community, the larger energy, the, lar the more, you know, do you, have a, do you have a sergeant looking over the energy? Do you have a lieutenant? I don't, I don't know military stuff. So this, I could be going down in rank or whatever, <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. But you've got, you've got a, a size of, let's just say burning man. You might have a general there or whatever. Okay. So, let's, so let's take the example of last night. There was what? 30, 40, 50 people there? 60 to 70. You think there were 60 to 70? But there were six people at each table. There was at least 10 tables. Oh, really? Okay, I uh -huh. didn't count. I didn't well, count. I totally just... No, me doing rough math. There might have been 70 to 80 people there. Okay, so mm -hmm. you take 60 to 70 individuals. Mm -hmm. You're feeling their energy radiating... And then all of their energy comes together as one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what is their true nature that they've that. accepted? They've all accepted this death corporation, this birth certificate. We're all there for a fucking Christmas event that nobody knows what the Christ mass actually is. See, but that's the thing is, did they... They presented it as a event of serving others. They, mm -hmm. they didn't present it as a Christmas event, per se. Right. So I'm curious on if that changes the... Oh, you're right. They didn't say Christmas anywhere. They didn't anywhere. say Christmas. They said the holidays, right? Yeah, the holidays. The holidays are upon us. Yeah. Well, that is true. The days of forgetfulness are upon us, and it is without reservation. I thought it was curious that they used that word. Yeah. So, yeah. I wonder what they're uh, talking to a few of them that were there last night, and, you know, how they were presenting it, um... It seems as though we all have a similar idea in mind of what we're wanting to create. Yeah. The sacred economy that, that Kosh was talking about, the gifting economy, mm -hmm. fantastic. I love the idea. I love the concept. Mm -hmm. I wonder... I wonder what the information that we have, how that would shift the, shift the community and the energy. Do we need to shift the community? There's nothing wrong with, no. oh, it's great what they're doing. Well, that's, and mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm curious. I, I'm just, I'm curious. I'm wondering right now what this is and what, what's going to happen with it. Yeah, well, everything, what's fun to feel into is the psychosis of what could stop someone mm -hmm. from speaking up or participating and to feel as a, 
what I used to believe myself to be as a healer, now realizing I stand on my pads of my feet <laughs> and I release the trauma and shake it off for all of living mankind and to be in this space to then enjoy the space of psychosis in an energetic space to be able to feel through all of something that someone could have said, all right, Alicia, turn the fuck around, drop me off on the side of the road. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going, mm. I'm not going, mm. I'm not going. And you can't make me pull over the car. I didn't make you anyways. <laughs> what? So oh yeah. Choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, that's, you know, that's, that's the but psychosis. Yeah. Um, yeah. In this, this, this feeling could have been felt going to a restaurant. This feeling could have been felt, going to the library, this feeling could have been felt just driving down the street because this, these MK ultra CIA frequencies, 5g radar, it's all been happening mm. for so long to control the mind, to be able to get to that place of energetically. It does not there. You have no control over me. I love that you mentioned this because the other night when I was in the bathtub, I was hearing noises out here and my mind instantly went to, oh, someone's breaking in the house. Oh, I'm going to get shot. Dead. Yeah, I'm dead. You're fucking toast. Like, they're going to rape you. They're going to yeah. wear your skin and yeah. they're going to make, they're going to make a drum out of your skin. Yeah. Well, I didn't go that <laughs> No, extreme, you didn't go that but, far. Oh, no, shit. but I did have thoughts of being shot, uh -huh. dead. And, and I went to, huh, I wonder how long before someone would find me. Um, really? I went, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I totally went there. It was, huh? I wonder if, I wonder if Trevor would come over, if, you know, and find me dead. I can't believe a thought of put the lotion in the basket didn't cross your mind once. <laughs> no? no, no. Well, see that my mind just goes all the fucking way to the end, and to be able to sit there, mm. and then breathe and and body mind spirit in that place mm. and then to really step into psychosis because now the world that is now being experienced this morning okay so a lot uh, i've been watching one piece and in order for them to quote unquote get away from the the navy or the marines marines, marines. Yes. yeah the marines was they went into a fog bank oh yeah and then <laughs> here it, i mean it's been sunny there's been no i mean it's been it's Besides a middle yesterday, yesterday middle of well yeah that's yeah, what i got yeah yesterday because it was it was the it was um the day before that i watched that and then, so last night was the, cause that the fog started to roll in right last yeah, night. Yeah. So it felt, a, yeah, yeah. So it felt as though we were, I, that thought was going through my mind of, oh my gosh, we're going into the fog and we're, we got away. <laughs> That's exactly what it, how it felt last night was we got away. And I had this feeling of fog, which was interesting. Fog was in my dream last night. And to wake up this morning and to have a pea soup situation where I don't, I mean, that house that's what, 100 feet was barely able to be seen. I'm not even yeah, sure. 200 it? feet, yeah. three. I mean, were you able to see that one right uh -uh. there? Yeah, I mean, that's, I could throw a rock probably and hit that house, but not able, not be able to see it this morning. Mm -hmm. And now, now the fog is lifting and to be in this place of the psychosis now is, knowing that since this world is a matrix and it's all light fractures and factorials and neutrinos that are reflecting light, what is light anyway? And that's a really great question to feel into of vibrations. And if it, any, everything is energy and frequency, what is vibration except conflict and war, right? Mm -hmm. So to be in this place where that war and that conflict is figuring it out outside of and to sit now into that psychosis of everything in the world is right. Everything right now in the present is beautiful. Everything right now is perfect and it's exactly as it is meant to be. 
when to sit in the situation of, wow, I survived a day. I survived a day with witches. I survived a day with Roman rule, sitting and claiming my seat as the king and not requiring, but seeing that the that which had ruled or find its ruler <laughs> the ruler of what the cut placenta the cord right that's fucking the ruler i've never thought about that why well, rule what does that even mean well i measure i'm the measurement well depends on how you're using the word what well, context because you have rules that put Mm-hmm. Diameters and diam parameters. 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 Parameters in place. Thank you. Why did I say diam? That's interesting. That's an interesting thing, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Parameters in the place. Mm -hmm. And that's I'm gonna put the law down on you. Well, exactly. <laughs> I am the ruler. Here are your rules. I'm gonna yeah. measure you to to show you your worth. Mm. Here's how long your cable yes. is. Or your cord. I'm gonna measure this now. Here's a measure of a second. Here's a measure of an inch. Here's a pound. Here's a whatever. Here's a foot. Here's a. And to turn yeah. over that scale last night and mm. to see that cross on the back of that mm. electric scale that has all measurements in tow of the milliliters and the grams and the ounces and to see that subtle thing of that cross on the back, wild feeling. Mm. wild feeling because why do they require a cross when i see that okay it's great you can put it up on the wall you could you don't need a shape of a cross in order to hang something you can have um like a similar upside down capital t mm -hmm. or like an i like a something little... yeah uh, yeah it's just something there that you it's got a hole at the bottom almost like a thermometer, right? Oh, the thermometer. Old, old thermometers where they have a yeah. hole and then it goes, yeah, the shape of a cross. And to sit and continue to feel into the psychosis feeling of they're listening right now. They hear us speak right now. And we're, regardless of if anybody actually listens to this on YouTube or Spotify or wherever it is, someone energetically is listening to this right now. Because there is a quote, all seeing one eye on my on this cell phone that's fucking looking at me all the time, listening to me all the time. And with all the... What was... You just said that, and what was on the incense? All seeing eye. Right? I thought that was interesting. And it smells nothing like sage. Smells nothing like white sage. I haven't even smelt it. <laughs> no. Mm. So <laughs> to mm. feel these energies come into our life and to watch what consistently, because there's a feeling of manifesting and that feels as the witchcraft, the Romans, the vampires that there's this cess, this festering cesspool of pus, this fester manifester. And to feel those fractured MK Ultra CIA frequencies coming in and then to, to see the materialization and to know it's happening and it has happened and to wait for that next bubble of opportunity and to feel into, I'm not required to surrender not required to release what do they say surrender surrender release resistance oh the let other go. resistance let just go. let go let go release Re no Re that's all mm -hmm. those are all war terms surrender mm -hmm. release resistance the Res resistance resistance what is that yeah because resistance is Futile. <laughs> I think about on Star Wars, the resistance. Right. Yeah. And they were the ones that were liberating everyone, if I remember correctly. Mm hmm Yeah, they were resisting. Hmm. Did they ever win? No. Just this never ending. I, <laughs> I, I, I hear they keep going. 
Yeah, they yeah, do. Force. Yes. There's always that force. If they would only the discover force. the power. The power. The, or something I, beyond I power. The flow. I have the flow. And I don't know if it's the flow that's beyond that, but I feel like flow. Maybe. Well, are you able to be a space traveler if you're only in flow? Do you travel or are you just there? It's a good question. To all feel as though then there is no point to us being here. We're, we're well, just a conscious spot observing. I feel like there's a paradox in everything. Totally. <laughs> there's a paradox. It, it, I truly feel it comes down to what you feel is your nature. Mm -hmm. What is your nature? Yeah, my nature feels as though I'm su surprising. It, it's this gift, this ever present moment. Mm -hmm. It's, hey, I have this present for you. I have, there's this moment of present. There's this surprise. And I felt that. I was saying that last night of how, what was I talking about? Where it felt as though I was unwrapping gifts all the time. And I was just in, anyway, my life feels a present. It is this present energy. And joy and ineffability, love it is actually, it feel, love feels to me as though it's a, it doesn't do it justice. Uh uh. Because every time I feel love, it feels as though it was planted. It feels fake. In the uh, mere evil. Yeah. That I feel like comes from the conditioned form of what they tell us love is mm -hmm. and the way they that that it's been presented in the fractured psyche and it's yeah yeah i'm learning the difference between lust and love feeling mm -hmm. the lust because i can feel that in the common the lust the mm -hmm. well, especially from old women i mean yeah. <laughs> they love yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh they just yeah. Oh, the fog's she, coming back in. She, yeah. There's many, not oh, just not one. Not just, oh, I know. Oh, there were many last night. Mm -hmm. They see me and they just come on in. And they're just this. <laughs> and that's the other thing is feeling into the, oh, these are the old witches. So they're, they're, they're the more powerful, the vampire. They're able to whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. um. And they have first rights, first dibs for there in the hierarchy right <laughs> so to feel all these feelings and to know it it sounds it sounds totally insane and yet i feel by speaking in this and by sitting in these frequencies and sitting in this imagination to consistently check you i mean i ask you questions all the time and i tell you what's going on and i share and i imagine that there's some people out there who would not be willing to play with me at all in my in this place of psychosis. What other people would see, and I, what I'm what I know I'm doing is I am playing with this matrix and the stuff that materializes. Fucking a! Wow, here it comes. And to know and to sit and to have a a first mate. Who can watch it's as though a soothsayer a shaman a wayfinder a chief they're required to go into those moments of or sit with ayahuasca sit with mushrooms and sit with these plant teachers mm -hmm. i f i'm able to do that in fucking life mm -hmm. and to sit with that and to feel because in all that with the ayahuasca with the mushrooms with the ketamine with all of those i've been in those places mm -hmm. and learned those lessons i've gone through the romans i've gone through the vampires i've gone into the hell i've gone through the darkness i've been there and i come out at the end with this amazing perspective life changes materialization shifts better friendships better life. and now what i'm realizing is i'm doing that in without the nice. without the substances without why commune with with ayahuasca why why connect with well the beautiful thing about that is um because that 
we are capable of tapping into that energy at mm. any time. Now you, now that you've sat with them, you know, you have that, that comparison. The attunement, the, the resonance. Attunement, resonance, yes. yes yeah. Of it. And so now you can go into those spaces and, and without their assistance, because you are attuned to that frequency and you can, uh, walk in those spaces and consciously do it where you're not in that alter all alternate uh alternative space thank you, alternative space you're yeah. actually looking at it and in your body, mind body soul mind, connection mind, body, now soul connection yeah. yes and looking at it and saying okay what do you got for me let's play mm -hmm. and that's a beautiful ability to have i don't know if how many people can actually do that and recognize that i imagine there there's plenty mm -hmm. i just we're meeting them they're, they're coming into they're our coming. life yeah yeah there was people last night who i was feeling of after i got through that that process because afterwards when the breath work was done and everybody was sat sat down mm -hmm. this feeling of i made it i'm alive if they were going to kill me they already would have uh -huh. And all those feelings of, oh, wow, great. And to not pay attention to anything of anything that was in other people's, because I knew people would go. Because in a past relationship that I've had, there was someone who was in your position who people would go up to her and say, what's up with Trevor? And she was not able to. Hold that space for you. She was not she took it personally mm -hmm. that it was up to her. It was her and it had nothing to do with her. Mm -hmm. It had everything to do with my experience and what I was going into be in that space. And then afterwards, as soon as breath work was done, dink, I felt the sudden breath of fresh air mm -hmm. of this moment of inspiration. Cause it was really interesting when feeling people walk around, feel their heat. And then as we were breathing, feel this, wave of energy of mm -hmm. something similar to wind but it wasn't mm -hmm. but to feel this whoosh, whoosh, in this almost it was i'm not going to say a battle it was a um it was almost as if this murky water was swirling around and and now it's clear like it got sucked out. Like, I'm not sure where it went, oh, yeah. but the Leviathan was no more mm. in that, um, in the m m movie Slumberland. Mm -hmm. Also in, oh my gosh, what is that show with those kids in basically the eighties and there's this robot or not robot, there's this girl who has all these powers and she can meditate and she ends up going to this place where she cracks open this alternative dimension and it's super e evil. Oh, it's, I don't know if I've seen that. it's on Netflix. It's super oh. uh, po popular. Oh. Anyway, there's this, um, and it'll, it'll come to me. It's a thought. Boop, boop. It'll come around. And, um, so Dark this crystal, no, way, <laughs> way more I know, um, it's not ominous. Crystal. And to have that, uh, it's as if a drop of black dye, just this one black of dropped, boop, and then all of a sudden that black dye swirls throughout a fishbowl. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's just taken over. And I to see and to feel that all go back to wherever it came, some of my business where it came from. I only, all I know is it has its home and it's going to go back to there. And, and when it's not, it's when it's whole, there's no purpose for it. And that's really what it desires anyway. Mm -hmm. Stranger things. That's the Netflix show. Stranger things. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I haven't watched that. <laughs> stranger things. Mm -hmm. The word stranger, not of oneself and things when you're a thing, the placenta that's cut off is is entitled a thing, a monster, a dead entity mm -hmm. that we assume is us. And we take on that responsibility. And in Stranger Things or in Slumberland, the Leviathan or that dark energy, 
is the cesspool of that energy that is in contrast to the pendulum of who we actually are. Mm -hmm. And last night, feeling into that connection of those uh, people and that event was feeling of, okay, there's 60 or there's 80 people who are no longer, whether they know it or not, they're no longer associated to that due to the work that the work, the play that we played last night, we acted, you were up, you did you, you were whole, you were connecting, you were doing the work of the queen, Mm -hmm. you were walking through, enjoying, um, the bounty of the, I'm not sure what to call them now. They're not commoners. They're not peasants, but just the, the kingdom, the, the alive people in the kingdom. I'm not, these words, just learning words, how to speak again and enjoying that. And here this King energy of, I, there's no, I am sitting because I feel peace, Mm -hmm. not peace, whole Mm -hmm. sitting. I feel whole. I'm enjoying this moment. Everyone is, shifting and to be this to particle to be the particle and to have you be the wave (laughs) right so good good. and i felt that to be the center of everyone Mm -hmm. to be the sun to have all of those celestial bodies moving around that felt very interesting and to experience those that put their back against me is interesting who did Mm -hmm. and to feel that because one was unknown and the other was i would have quote unquote never have guessed Mm -hmm. yeah it was so fun the speakaboo game (laughs) yeah so to be and here we are again with the pea soup oh my gosh there's no there could be an ocean right there Mm mm-hmm right now coming in and to feel that oh yeah no feeling of there's no feeling of witches no feeling of vampires no feeling of roman civilian rule we're in the void (laughs) you can only see so far Mm -hmm. and it feels so peaceful Mm-hmm. This is how the bubble feels to me. Uh-huh. It feels foggy. Mm-hmm. Me too. And I find myself yeah. slowing down. Being patient. Enjoying, have more courtesy for others. So we all, quote unquote, can't see. Just monitoring what's in front of us and really seeing where we are. It's a beautiful experience to wake up in today again and to be in this place of wonder of, I wonder, I wonder how many people will hear this. I wonder who will reach out and I wonder who else fucking feels psychotic, psychosis, energy, and who will actually benefit from this information that could sound fucking crazy at any moment so anything you'd like to say before we put a bow on this present moment and send it off to all those people potentially who've woken up and found themselves as dead entities looking to live embrace the now Mm. just embrace the now be where you are and trust Love that. Mine would be to wake the fuck up and get the fuck on the fuck. Listen to Richard R. Kallenbach, New <laughs> Word Order. Learn all this stuff and let's come play. And if, yeah. Come play. Oh and, my God. And know that you were, mm. you, you were supported and guided and provided for. Oh God. That's your, that's your godly essence. That's your godly. Estate. Estate is <sighs> to be provided for and supported and guided and. To actually experience that on an ongoing basis, if I could, if to actually say that is one thing, to experience it on an ongoing basis of going, wow, that's what feels actually more psychosis than than, this happened again. 
again, well, again. And, and it's just being in that moment, being in the now moment and recognizing and trusting and recognizing that these things are when when you can allow yourself to not allow. I don't want to say that when you can appreciate, appreciate where you are mm. and notice where the energies are coming from. MK Ultra and take responsibilities <laughs> for the ones that you're meant to take responsibility for because there's some that are you know you do 99.99999 percent of them of those are not ours to pay any it's, attention exactly. to because there's no requirement to pay anything yeah exactly our, there's no dues that we are here to enjoy there's no tariffs there's no fees and that's what I'm saying is you take mm -hmm. responsibility for the for the now for the ones that you um, enjoy this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Offer yourself forgiveness, compassion. You are innocent. But why do we even require and to feel or think see. that way? Well, I, I think getting started out. Oh, yes. Getting, getting started, started out. out yes. That's what you were saying when when you find yourself and you're waking up that's oh, totally. where i'm going with mm -hmm. okay i see that perspective. going from that perspective these are the things as you're sifting through what is real and what isn't i'm not whole yet i still require healing i don't understand courage i don't understand compassion i don't understand appreciation i don't really understand joy i don't really understand love okay now i'm yeah okay just but you are whole you are divine and you are provided for and supported. Oh, I because, know this. Yeah. Thank you for. Oh, Alicia, you see me. <laughs> I am whole. I am perfect. I'm uniquely me. You are. I'm. So, I feel so much love. I love being me. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the that's really the only love that I truly know right now. Is I and that's what I know is I love being me. At the end. Mm. And through that feeling, there's so much more that mm. is inexplicable. Mm. Words and feelings have no yeah. ground. So how I'd like to end this is go and love yourself. How can you love yourself more? <laughs> Where can you witness love for yourself mm. that's my message beautiful all right it's gonna end it in an awkward weird way let's just end it weird and awkward because that's what the now moment that's that's, that's the ever that's the present moment of the unknowingness you so did awkward bitches so we're gonna end it awkward <laughs> and weird so we're just going to peace out. We'll see. We'll, we'll chat with you next time. <laughs>